<laughs> talked about love and, you know, finding love. And then, you know, after love comes, some may say, marriage. Love and marriage and the baby cares, that whole thing. So uh, last time you guys were on my show, we talked about what a man should do, what things a, a man must accomplish before he considers getting married. We had that whole conversation. And, uh, of course, Ben Shapiro got wind of it and weighed in on it. Now, Ben Shapiro and I, although both being Jewish, could have not have any more different lifestyles as it possibly is. They're okay? boys in the house. Then boys. Yeah, boys. The boys are here. Okay. So uh, he weighed in on uh, your thoughts on marriage. Yeah. Um, and I'm more on the Myron school of things than the Ben Shapiro school of things. So we have this clip teed up. Go ahead. Let's go. Today's day and age, you shouldn't be getting married until you're at least 35. That was my man. next question as for you. As a, yeah. as a man, what age what should you women? consider getting married? So I have, th this is my thing that I tell guys. Yeah. I think 35 years old, had slept with at least 50 women, 100K per year, you're in shape, and uh, you got six months to one year of savings. All right, done. I got to get married. I've done all that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's, nice. Nice. That's, That's easy. Nice. Here's the Republic right there. So that is a recipe for a terrible marriage, by the way, guys. Waiting until you're 35 and have slept with 50 women, that is a terrible recipe for marriage by every available data point. It turns out that you are much better in terms of getting married if you get married younger, if you do not have a wide variety of sexual partners. For all women. About, you know, being in shape and having money and all the rest of it. Like, you should try to do that, generally speaking. But this notion that you wait until you're 35, you've already made a bevy of mistakes that have shaped your character and made you much more rigid as a person. And that you should have had a basis of compassion comparison in terms of sex of dozens and dozens and dozens of women. No, the data do not support this, and it's stupid. I say all okay. the time. So, um, how many people agree with Ben Shapiro on this, by the way? Okay. How many people agree with myself and Myron on this? All right. and, and here's the thing. Yeah. I, I know some people are going to say you're just making and co coping, trying to find a way to have sex with a bunch of girls. So let me ask the ladies a question. Average 25 year old woman went to college in the United States. Okay? What do you think the average body count is? I'm not talking about you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Me. your peers or women that you know, not you. Okay? On average, what do you think it is? We'll start right here and then work our way. On average, um, I think it's. 25 around year old girl went to college, has a job. It's um, tw in that 20 to 50 range, somewhere okay. in that. I know. 20 to 50 bodies? No. Yeah. yeah. She said, what about you? I, I would say the same because I just looked this stat up. 20 to 50? Yeah, I would say the same because the people I surrounded myself with. What about oh, you? The question is, uh, an average 25-year-old average woman? Average 25-year-old woman, how college. many sexual partners do you think they have by the time they're 25 years 20, old 25 in the United States? That States. went to college. That went to college. You, it does it was to be, keep it simple, right? Dude, average college, 20, or we can okay. say you didn't go to college, whatever. 25-year-old woman 25 in America. Year old girl in the United States. This could go based off your peers. You're saying 20, 20 plus. plus. I mean, you've been around. Yeah, You're saying 20 plus. plus. 30 to 50. She I said 20 30 to 50. 50. I said 20 to 50. Wow, yeah. I got to hear you? these answers. What do you think? Go ahead. Well, um, from 3 to 10. 3 okay. to 10? Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. No, I would say 10. 10? Okay. 3 to 10-ish, probably. 3 to 10, okay. 7? 7? Yeah, I'd say the average about 10. Ladies, one more time. This is not you. I'm yep. talking about your peers, girls you know, a conglomerate of all the females in your life that you've come across or you've known. Yeah, I'm definitely not talking about myself. Okay. <laughs> three, three to, you said what? Three to 10? Okay. Just say a number, guys. Yeah, this three to 10 thing is 35. Like 35. 35. 25. I've never even heard a girl admit 20. Not one single woman I've ever met in my entire life. We know a girl under exaggerate their numbers, though, right? 10 to 20, probably. Okay. Okay. Girls on the couch? Uh, sadly, I know women that have had a bad count of over 100. So yeah. that's yeah. the average, though, Horrible. really? Yeah. Well, we're saying average. Yeah. I think you're talking average. Yeah. Av average. You think it's 100? Average is 100. So she said 100? Did she say 100? We can say 80. Shout out to Colombia in the house. What's up? Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're talking about the United States. Yeah, we're talking about, we're, we're talking about we're talking about the United States, not not Colombia, where prostitution is. No, yeah, yeah. I, I went to school here. Yeah. Uh, I went to Tulane. 20? And I would say Damn. average ballpark, 80. Damn. <laughs> okay. All right. What? what? I would say I'm going everyone okay. in this house is lying to me. I would say All right, what about, about you? 20. What about you? How many you think the average woman? How many? About 20. 20. Cool. What about you? They're too religious. Average, yeah. I would say it's safe to say 30. Okay. 
All right, let's keep going. This? Well, oh. yep. <clears throat> a number that seems like normal is like probably uh, 40. Okay. 30. Thir 30. <laughs> okay. Not, not, not me, not me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember, ladies, it's average. Uh, what about you? I wouldn't know what to say, but from the last time I went to school that I socialized with people my age, I would say maybe 20 okay. is the average. Okay. Um, who else? Is there anybody else left? Yeah. So many people that I know have been in their 40s. So. Okay. Yeah, well, anybody else? Yeah. Anybody 21. else? 21. 21. 21. All right. I'm going to say 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 24. 24? Okay. <laughs> Maybe like in their 20s. In their 20s? Okay. 3 to 10. 3 to 10? Okay. 5 to 20. 20? Okay. I would have to say about 30. 30? Okay. The average is herpes. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. Now, with a show of hands, ladies, right? Okay. So it seems to me from all of your different answers, let's go ahead and peg it around 20, right? Would it be fair to say sure. 20 to 25 no here? Way. From everybody's answers, if I'm going to go ahead and average it out. So let's say it's around 20 to 25. Let me ask you this. For a relationship to last, who has to be more sexually experienced than a relationship? The man or the woman? Man. 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 Okay. Raise the hands if you think the man needs to be more sexually experienced for the relationship to work. Raise the hands nice and high. Nice and high. I want to see what, what the thing is. Okay. So that's the majority. Now, just out of curiosity, who thinks the woman needs to be more sexually experienced for the relationship to work? Raise the hands. Nobody? That's why you need to fuck 50 bitches. <laughs> like, right? Listen, like, wow. People think, people think I'm just easy. over here. People think I'm just over here being a dickhead or being a misogynist, whatever. By their own <laughs> answers, the yeah. average girl has a high body count. Uh, by their own accord, the man needs to be sex more sexually experienced. So. It is what it is. But I'm telling you guys, to acclimate to the current sexual marketplace. Being good in bed, right? But we care Can about I just men finish my sentence real fast? <laughs> We're wrapping up. You need to acclimate to the current sexual marketplace, guys. By the way, if that wasn't a drop the mic moment, I don't yeah. know what was. And okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. It doesn't seem like a lot of men care about it, right? A lot of a lot of men don't care about women being good in bed at all. But women care about men being good exactly. in bed. That's the point. We're yeah, but I, I just but said. I don't. Yeah. But it's only because men care about the status of fucking women. That's what it is. And the stat is 19. I actually yeah, looked it up before the show. You just gotta women. focus on what you want to get. I don't if you even want think men, men really do like from sex. Men. I think it's just nice to say that you've fucked a lot of people. That's what it seems like only men care about. Absolutely. Because you would rather pick Adam, a girl. Yo, moderators. That don't you and your <laughs> husband you fuck everybody, everybody with no show. sexual Openly experience oh, at oh, all? Right. Look, it's, men. it's very simple. Eric, since the beginning of time, men have preferred versions. Andres. Yeah. I don't it's make the rules, I just boring, report them. Isn't it? <laughs> no, what that means is that men prefer women that But that means you don't like sex. Like you sex don't like sex in that case. No, you only like the status of having sex with a lot of people. No, you can train her! If you, she's a virgin, she's clearly not going to be that good, right? But that's your job as the man to do what I said at the top of the show, coach her. But why wouldn't you just have someone that's already good in bed? No, that's you. Why would you want that's someone that is like a fucking 10 out of 10 at blowjobs? Why wouldn't you pick that instead? <laughs> I mean, you got 100 plus men telling you here that they prefer women to have yeah, lower body all counts. all of them are delusional. I don't care about what they think. I care about what I think in my experiences. I probably, I probably fuck more women than most of these guys have in the audience, okay? <laughs> what the fuck? Hold, hold on. I'll pose her one question. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you would you or would you say that in general most women prefer a man taller than themselves? What do you say? Sorry. Taller. Would it be fair to say that in general women prefer a man taller than themselves? Um, yeah, that's true. Would it be fair to say that in general women prefer a man that makes more money than them? Um, yes, I general. guess some. Yeah. In general, Come not on. yourself. Be honest. I would mean, they honest. probably they want the man to make money. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure how people really like how much they Stop. care about it. Okay. Stop. Would it be fair to say that women okay. want a guy that is more confident and ambitious than themselves? Yeah, those mm. things. Yes. Okay. What if I said that women are delusional for these inherent standards? I don't think it's delusional to have those standards. Oh, stop the show right go. there. I don't think it's delusional that they want women that have low body counts. Yeah, but right. why? Hold what on, stop the, the show. Stop the, the reason. Show. The reason. The reason. Stop the show. The, the reason. The is, reason they want to have someone Melina, that has low, a low body Melina, count. stop for two seconds. Okay. Can I finish it after? No, no, no. Hold on. No. Okay. Because this is the quintessential example of what I mean when I say female standards are respected and supposed to be adhered to, whereas male standards are considered 
delusional. The only reason they want virgins is because they're really insecure that a dick might have been better than theirs. Nobody said virgin. That is it. Yeah. That's true. Um, I, don't okay. remember, I don't think they were saying that back in well, that, the day, though. Nah. Because you're not giving me any super reason. <laughs> okay. at all Listen, guys. Is better in bed. We're going to do a couple super chats. And then get your questions.